robotics just got smarter, more advanced, and way too human. Because one company isn't just making robots anymore, it's making customizable humans. Xpang Robotics has built a humanoid that can dance, learn, and soon even let you choose its body type, skin softness, hair length, and yes, even its breast size. At the same time, Agabot quietly dropped what might become the first truly public-facing humanoid you'll see in hotels or airports, while Toyota revealed a walking chair that climbs stairs like a calm AI pet. The line between machines and people isn't blurring anymore, it's vanishing. Let's start with X-Bang's robot, because this one feels like the turning point for humanoid design itself. After the AI day in Guangzhou, where their humanoid robot Iron walked out on the stage with strangely human posture, people online went wild. Some said it was fake, that there must have been a human in a suit. So the company's CEO, Xiao Pang, decided to prove everyone wrong. And he did it by posting a new lab video showing the bare metal iron robot dancing. This new footage shows the raw mechanical version, no skin, no covers, just the exposed frame moving with almost unsettling precision. And here's the part that really turned heads. He said that the dance routine was learned in only two hours. They used what he called a comprehensive imitation learning method where they feed human dance data directly into the AI and the robot learns to replicate the movement almost instantly. Previously, reinforcement learning took weeks and still struggled with generalization. Now, Iron's model does it in hours and can adapt the movement dynamically. The key hardware feature behind that lifelike motion is what Xpeng calls a human-like spine. It adds flexibility to the waist, which lets the upper and lower body move and sink like a real person. When the torso bends or twists, the hips sway naturally, which explains why people thought the AI demo looked too real. Combine that with 82 degrees of freedom, nearly twice what most humanoids use, and you get motion that no longer looks robotic. Now, during the keynote, he confirmed that the robot will come with a dexterous hand and an all-solid-state battery, giving it longer life and lighter weight. Its AI brain combines three large-scale multi-model systems, VLT for Vision Language Task, VLA for Vision Language Action, and VLM for Vision Language Model. Basically, it can see something, describe it, and perform an action tied to that description. The full closed loop of perception and decision. Then came the most controversial part. Xpeng's iron has breasts, and the internet lost it. During the event, he explained why. At first, Xpeng's robotics division was exploring quadrupled robots, four-legged models similar to Boston Dynamics Spot, because they're more stable. But he realized those lack hands, and they struggle to turn around or handle human spaces. The world is simply built for humans, he said. So, robots should be human-shaped to operate efficiently within it. Then there's the emotional factor. He said humanoid robots feel more approachable, more intimate, more human. His words, not mine. Though judging by what Xpeng showed, that clearly translates to giving their robot a pair of breasts. The company believes people are more likely to interact naturally with something that looks and moves like them, even if it blurs the line between tech and, well, personal preference. Leaving Chuanmi, the vice president of Xpang Robotics, put it bluntly, we're not just making robots, we're making humans. They even see future versions where you can customize your robot's body type. Slimmer, bulkier, taller, shorter, choose skin softness, hair length, even clothing. Its personalization takes it to a whole new level, and apparently, yes, even the breast size will be part of the customization menu. Now, the reasoning behind the feminine form, according to the company, is to study human reaction. They want to see how people respond emotionally to different appearances. Me said that they're experimenting with form factors to understand which type creates comfort or trust in social environments. Eventually, the plan is to offer full customization. 
like picking car colors, except now it's for a humanoid companion. He also revealed that x plans to begin preparing mass production next April, with the goal of entering commercial spaces not long after. So we're not talking about something that's 10 or 20 years away, they're already moving from R&D to deployment. Now, let's move to Agabot A2 because this one might actually become the first robot people meet in the real world. On the surface, it looks clean, futuristic, and surprisingly humanoid in proportion. 169 centimeters tall, 69 kilograms in weight, and with a turning radius of 60 centimeters. It's built around human ergonomics, meaning when you're face to face with it, it doesn't feel cold or mechanical. The design has the balance between elegance and power, smooth contour lines, subtle futuristic details, and the goal is to make interaction feel as natural as possible and not as uncanny as possible. Inside, though, it's loaded with serious tech. Its AI system runs on large language models with full duplex voice interaction, meaning it can hold real-time conversations, not just respond line by line. It even combines those models with retrieval argument generation, which is basically RAG, to build custom knowledge bases for businesses. So if a company wants this robot at their reception desk or exhibition stand, it can instantly pull relevant answers from their database and talk like a trained employee. Then there's the sensory setup. The A2 can filter out up to 96% of the background noise and still understand you clearly in crowded environments like, say, airports or malls. Its face recognition and lip reading reach 99% wake-up accuracy, which is insane for a robot running in the wild. And they even integrated something called Action GPT, a motion generation system that translates spoken intent into physical gestures and natural movements. So if someone says wave to the guests, it actually performs like a human-like wave that fits the tone of the command. But what really makes us think this thing is impressive is the mobility stack. It runs on 3D slam mapping system called HIMAS, combined with a vector flux control algorithm, giving it level 4 autonomous movement. That means it can move safely in complex spaces and not just pre-mapped areas. The joints are custom built and mass produced, each capable of delivering up to 512 newton meters of peak torque designed to run for thousands of hours without failure. The movement control system called RTMF uses reinforcement learning to predict motion paths and adjust it in real time. Basically this robot can walk around a busy hall, avoid obstacles and still look smooth while doing it. For safety it's got three layered monitoring systems hardware system and business levels, with redundant control channels and 6 HD cameras plus a 360 degree LiDAR array, so no blind spots, no accidental bumps. It's PLLD certified, meaning it meets industrial grade safety standards and maintenance is simple. You can control it remotely via phone or laptop, it supports quick battery swaps and even has multifunctional standards by station for charging and transport. The runtime is around 2 hours per charge, but since the batteries swap instantly, that's basically endless uptime. All this makes it clear what Agabot is aiming for. Not the flashy sci-fi robot, but something that can actually serve in real business environments. Exhibition halls, hotel lobbies, supermarkets, even fashion shows, anywhere human presence is key, but automation helps. It's the kind of robot that blends in rather than showing off. And while China's robotic giants are racing towards human likeness, Toyota is taking a quieter, more practical path. As the Japan Mobility Show 2025, they introduced a concept called WalkMe. It looks like a small chair at a first glance, but instead of wheels, it walks on four legs. Think of it as a personal mobility assistant that doesn't roll, it's trolls. The idea is to help people with limited mobility move around freely, even in places where wheelchairs struggle, like 
stairs or uneven paths. Each of the four pastel colored legs have multiple sensors and actuators allowing it to bend and adapt to the terrain in real time. It was inspired by animals that excel on rough terrain such as goats, crabs, or something like that. The front legs analyze, hide, and pull the chair forward while the hind legs push and stabilize. The result is motion that's both steady and natural, even on stairs. Walk Me uses lighter and radar to detect obstacles, plus weight sensors and automatic stabilization system to keep the occupant balanced and slopes. And despite being a mobility aid, it's loaded with AI features. It responds to voice commands. You can literally tell it to go faster or, say, change direction imminently. There's also a manual override with handles if someone wants to steer directly. Comfort wasn't an afterthought either. The seat molds to the user's body with adjustable armrests and soft padding designed for long-term use. A small display shows battery percentage and distance traveled, and the internal battery lasts an entire day of operation before needing a charge. When you plug it in, it's as simple as charging a phone. It it even has a thermal safety system that pauses movement and alerts the user if any joint overheats, and when it's not in use, the legs retract telescopically, letting it fold down into a compact shape so you can store it in your car or, say, a corner of your home. So are we actually witnessing the start of a world where robots don't just serve, but mirror us? And who's evolving faster, them or us? Let me know what you think, and if you want more deep dives into the future of tech and artificial intelligence, make sure to like, subscribe, and stay tuned.